Hi everybody, there's one week to go to the first semi-classic of the season, the Omloop het Nieuwsblad, which will be run on Saturday, February the 24th. The course runs over 208k and includes some well-known features, such as the Wolfenberg and the Berendries, and most importantly, the combination of the Kapellmuur and the Bosberg in the finale of the race. As you can see from this overview of the winners of the latest 10 editions, it's a course for the pure classics guys. The duo of punchy climbs deep in the finale makes that the race is usually won solo or in a sprint of two to four riders. In the last 10 years, only the 2021 edition had a different scenario, in which Ballerini won from a group of 44 riders who went to the finish together. We can also observe that the Belgians tend to do well here, taking four out of the 10 last wins. Here's an overview of some of the riders lining up with previous experience in this race, including four former winners. Valgren, who won back in 2018, Stuyven in 2020, Van Aert in 2022, and last year's winner Dylan van Baarle. And some additional riders with an above average number of top 10 finishes compared to their number of race starts. Drawing my attention are Nase, Trentin, Luc Rowe, Pascalon and Rui Oliveira. Now given that quite some of the riders on the start list are racing at the moment, betting odds were not yet available at the time of recording. Yet here's the riders to watch in my book. Should some of my picks drop out, I'll leave a note in the video description below. Starting with Visma Lisa Bike, whom are lining up with a killer theme here. All of them having the potential to win this race. Affini, Jorgeson, Van Baarle and European champion Laporte haven't been in action yet this year. Van Aert just sprinted to victory on the Volta al Garva. And Tratnik is clearly also firing on all pistons. I expect Van Aert and Laporte to be top dogs here, with Tratnik in third. At Sudal Quickstep, we haven't seen Asgreen in action yet, and I hope he'll be back to his best. I'm going to call Ala Philippe for the Wolfpack though, he'll be looking to tap some confidence in the run-up to the Tour of Flanders. The main duo at the Grenadiers will be Turner and Pitcock, with Pitcock a solid contender here in my book. At UAE, Welles, Polit, fifth here last year, and Oliveira are the riders to watch. They both seem to be coming into this season in decent form. Wellens hasn't managed to confirm his 2019 podium spot though. Mohoric and Pascalon at Bahrain Victorious. Pascalon, purely on merit, he's been 8 here in the final two editions. At EF, Betiol is the one who could surprise, and in my book Denz is the one to watch at Bora, more so than Jordi Meus. At Movistar, Lascano seems to get along with these type of races quite well, and he'll be entering the race with some confidence, coming fresh off a solo win in the Classica Gaan, ahead of Tronchon, Welles and Tratnik. Kung and Watson are the men to watch at FDG. The same goes for the Stuyve Milan duo at Trek. Then, I'm not expecting too much from Astana and Jaiko Alula here, nor from DSM. Then, it will be interesting to see how Seneschal fares at Arkea, Capio and Louvel are the ones who can surprise on this team though. And then we get back to some proper top 10 material, featuring Arnaud Delis at Lotto Destiny, who was the fastest of the chasing group last year, and Axel Zengle at Cofidis, who performed a nice podium streak at the Tour de la Provence, mixing it up with Mats Pedersen. Girma is the man to watch at Intermarché, he showed good form in the Tour Down Under, and won the Surf Coast Classic ahead of Viviani and Corbin Stroll. At Alpesin, it will be interesting to see how Philips affairs when things explode in the finale. I personally don't expect him to hang on. Nor do I expect too much from the Decathlon or the Israel Premier Tech boys. Then at Uno X, note that Christoph sprinted to fourth on last year's edition, which I doubt he'll be able to repeat this year around. For Uno X, I'm expecting Rasmus Stiller. And finally, at Tudor Pro Cycling Team, it will be interesting to see how Meyerhofer will do Yet obviously, Trentin is the man to watch. He just loves this race, five times into the top 10 out of 11 participations, and he has already shown to have the legs, riding onto the podium of the Classica de Almeria, mixing it up with the likes of Coy, De Lee, Thijssen and Van Aert, to name a few. De Lee, Laporte and Van Aert are my four-star favorites, Girmay and Milan get three stars, Pitcock, Mohoric and Alaphilippe get two stars, and Trentin and Zengle get one star. In terms of podium prediction for the 2024 Omloop het Nieuwsblad, I'm going with a win by the Lee ahead of Van Aert and Laporte. Thanks for watching, enjoy the race and see you soon 